Welcome back everyone. We left off with making this brick vanish mysteriously because we aren't actually building a mesh for it. So let's go ahead and build a mesh for it. So this is where we're going to be to build, building our mesh here in Create Visual Mesh. We're going to need a couple of functions to help us do this. The first thing we're going to do is if map x, y, z equals zero, then we're going to just continue. So we don't need to try and print the bricks if there's no bricks there. For this first run through, we're going to actually create all the faces of all the bricks. That is not how we're going to be doing it as of next episode, or perhaps the end of this episode. But it is easy. It is an easy way to make sure that everything is working. Excuse me, working correctly. Down here, we're going to actually do the build face. So we need a lot of arguments. This build face argument is a special purpose function that takes in a ton of arguments. It takes in a corner, it takes in an up, it takes in a right, oh, it takes in a brick, it takes in a reversed, it takes in a list vector 3 verts, a list vector 2 uvs, a list int tries, now we could make this, we could share a lot of these by making them arguments inside of the class, but we're not going to because later on we're going to be doing multiple meshes and we don't want our calculations to overlap. So here in build face, we're just going to go ahead and build a face. A face consists of four points with two triangles to connect, uh, sorry, yeah, with two triangles to connect those four points, and that means there's four points four UV points and six integer values for the triangle to use, for the triangle list. So we say int index equals verts.count. Then we say verts.add new vector, oh sorry, not a new vector three, it's just a corner plus up plus up plus right plus right. And you'll notice that we went in a clockwise order. That's because our triangles go in a clockwise order. So we want to have everything go clockwise all the time. UVs.add. And we're going to go ahead and assume that our UV map is just one brick. We haven't actually put a UV map in yet, so this will be... We're going to change this out later. And then we need to add the triangles. There's one triangle, there's a second triangle. But we have an issue here where we actually need to have this check and see whether it's reversed. If it's not reversed, then that's correct. Actually, technically, that's correct for the reversed, because I know this because this is my second take, and I just happen to know that that order is the reversed order. Otherwise, we add them going counterclockwise. And the way you do that is you just swap the first two arguments for each triangle. Like so. And up here, we're going to go ahead and build ourselves some stuff. So we're going to do it for build face, uh, map x, y, okay, so yeah, thank you for all of that. Byte brick equals map x, y, z. And the reason we do this is because monodevelop has a bug in it where it counts any comma as the next argument, even if it's within brackets. So that would be annoying. Uh, the corner would be new vector 3 x, y, z. Uh, our up would be, let's go ahead and make it vector3.up. Now our right, our right is not actually always right, and just to prove that we're going to use vector3.forward. And then we're going to say false verts uvs tries. Let's go ahead and see whether or not that works. Yep, look at that. All of these nice faces lined up in a row. But if we go to the other side, 
poof, they vanish. As I said, the triangles only go in one direction, so we're going to have to make it so that there are, is another face on the other side. You will notice that that is 0, 0, 0, and the face is lined up with 0, 0, 0. We do not have an off by one bug this time. Not yet. <laughs> so this is actually the right face, I believe, um, because vector3.right is not there, uh, which means that it is that face. So this one is going to be the left face. Or rather, sorry, that's the left face. This is going to be the right face. It's the same thing, except for it's reversed and offset by 1. And you can see that there it is. Perfect. It's, uh, it's the middle of the night, so some student has decided he's going to make a ton of noise outside. Um, hopefully you can't hear it. We're just going to duplicate this for the other sets of faces. Let's do the top face so we have something to land on. Like that. And that may be backwards. We'll find out now-ish. Oh, it looks perfect to me. Doesn't that look perfect to you? Yes, everyone agrees. It looks perfect. Except that it goes up, as it should, and our guy is now standing inside of it. So let's go ahead and move our dude. Junk. Junk. Oh, come on. And we're standing on top of it. The collider works fine, because we already told it to work fine. So that's just, uh, everything's working out hunky-dory. So we need one more face. And that is the one which actually uses both up and right. Um, here's a trick, though. I don't believe that this face actually is in the right direction. Um, I think that we need to reverse these. We're going to find out right now. Yeah, yeah, we need to reverse them. So... Um, I'm not, I don't like that. This shouldn't be necessary. There's something, some minor bug in my code. Uh, maybe an off by one bug, just like last time. But the end result is that we have this beautiful set of blocks. However, we have a really wasteful set of blocks because, as you can see, we've got all of these interior faces that exist just fine, but shouldn't. Uh, we should just have the exterior faces. So the question is, how long has this been running? I don't know. I think that we're going to go ahead and do that next episode. I don't want to push my luck. So thank you for tuning in. See you next time, where we cull some faces.